Hey there, I'm E-Train. This summer, I'm going to be celebrating picture books. And what better way to celebrate picture books than to read alouds, all right? We're starting off with A Little Emotional by Christopher Eliopoulos. A Little Emotional by Christopher Eliopoulos. Fun Supernova is my favorite toy in the whole wide world. Whenever I play with him, happiness follows. Oh, hi, happiness. And when I pretend we're in space, my happiness soars. I'm always careful to keep fun in a special spot in my room. But this morning when I went looking for him, My fun was gone, and so was my happiness. Pop. Worry took its place. What if my toy is gone for good? Then I got scared. What if I can never have fun again? I just wanted to have fun, but instead, I got a little angry. And as I looked everywhere, it grew from a little angry to full-blown anger. Where did my fun supernova go? Hey, quit shoving! I didn't know what to do. My raging anger was getting ugly. SOMEONE TOOK MY FUN AWAY! Before I knew it... Before I knew it... My anger... EXPLODED! WHO RUINED MY FUN?! And when I saw my sister playing with her toy, my jealousy peeked out. How come her toy isn't broken? That just made my anger get pointed. I bet you broke my toy. You're always getting into my things. Why do I even have a sister? <gasps> and that's when my dad looked at Fun Supernova and said, Oh, you left it out last night. I forgot to tell you that I accidentally vacuumed over it and broke it. I'm so sorry. Uh oh. Just like that, my anger was gone. Bop! And as I looked at my innocent sister, a cloud of guilt fell over me. What is he gonna do? I was suddenly hit by a wave of embarrassment for being so mean to Katie. And that carried me to my room. I would feel embarrassed too. What about you? That's where my sadness arrived. I cried so hard. I couldn't catch my breath until... What do you think happens next? Katie showed me a little kindness. This is my bunny. You can play with him. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, what a little kindness can do. As I held the bunny, I was flooded with relief. Then I realized that it's better to share kindness. Do you? 
Do you want to play with me? Okay. Ooh, wait, that was a close one, right? Kindness can always make you feel loved after being a little angry. Katie is an amazing example of spreading kindness wherever we go. Because as I always say, we need to spread love, not hate. What can you do to spread a little kindness to your friends, family, or other people? Maybe offer them a seat at a lunch table or share your favorite toy like Katie did.